Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Futures Trader here. This video is my one-up trader uh, evaluation, 100k evaluation, day number nine. So another successful day, I'm happy to report. This video will be pretty much the same style as my yesterday's video. Um, I actually was able to record my final trade for the day, so I figured I would just demonstrate what it was and then I'll show you uh, rhythmic again and show you uh, what I am up. So uh, just a quick flashback to yesterday. I was at, uh, gee, I'm trying to remember my balance now. Uh, I was close to, I was at about 3,700, I want to say. Uh, that's correct. And then the plan was just to get to 4,000 by the end of the week, be two thirds of the way done. Uh, so basically my general plan was the next three days just to uh, at most make like one simple trade just so the day counts or if I, the market was kind of treating me well maybe traded for a bit and that's what happened today so um, what you're looking at here is a recording from earlier when i was trading uh, i have it paused right now because i want to explain a few things and then i'll let it play out uh, so real quick uh, if you're not familiar with jigsaw i explained some of it yesterday i'm going to zoom in here in a second but basically in the middle here we have the ultra bond which is what i'm actively trading off to the left, we have the 30-year note or 30-year bond, and down here the 10-year note. I watch the 30-year bond and the 10-year note more for clues as to what might happen with the ultra bond. So I, I almost never trade these. Um, I'm just watching them. Um, off here on the right, uh, these are essentially the the tape. These are the actual sales that are happening. I'm also seeing this information in here, but this is just another way to to view it, and it's kind of a nice just visual queue if you will you know you see a lot of blue that means people are are buying they're hitting the ask when you see a lot of red people are selling they're hitting hitting the uh uh the offers right here so uh more about that in another video i will at some point do a jigsaw video i do recommend if you're interested in jigsaw or reading the dom uh, where I learned a lot and believe me I do a lot of research anything I get involved in I do a lot of research. Um, I found John Grady uh, He runs a company called no BS day trading. He has a ton of videos on YouTube. They're free He does have courses he sells, but he really doesn't push them and honestly like there's so much free content He has up there. You will learn a ton uh, just watching his stuff he is also, he trades very similar, but he's a bond scalper. He does trade more the uh, the 30 year and the 10 year. Uh, so I take the ultra bond, but nonetheless, you'll you'll see a screen that looks very similar to this. So let's get to it. Uh, I'll zoom in here. Um, so real quick, just to familiarize yourselves with Jigsaw, uh, the column right here that is gray, that is the actual price. Uh, let's see, if numbers are white, that means there has actually been contracts traded at that price. Numbers are kind of gray black. That means nothing is traded at this price yet. You can also tell based on this column. This is the number of contracts which have traded at every price. So it creates a nice little histogram, if you will. So 83 contracts have traded at this price, 41, etc. This was very shortly after the market opened, so not a lot of accumulation yet. But you get like a nice histogram of where most of the activity is. Uh, so I went short at 20, uh, 21217, we'll just say 17. Uh, you know that one because there's the red right here that, uh, so at this price and also more, even more easier on the eye to spot again, kind of like yesterday, this is my profit and loss column. So since I'm short, as the price moves down, I will make money. As the price moves up, I would be losing. Uh, I am a short five contracts. You can see that up here as well. I'll zoom in on that. Uh, so that's always a nice visual thing as well, just so you know exactly how many contracts you are in for. And then the current price is kind of this ghost colored, if you will. Um, so right here at 213, and it, as you can see, I'm currently profitable by 625. So if I just got out of this trade right now at this price, um, I would make 625. Um, Explaining a little bit more. I know I'm explaining a lot of this, but I kind of want you to know what some of these numbers are uh, The blue column here are limit orders. So when someone places a buy limit order it gets reflected in here so there are 15 contracts at the uh, On the buy side right here at this price, etc. And it goes down. These are people willing to sell They're sellers and you have a big number here Those are, are really what I'm looking for. I'm looking to eyeball these big numbers 349 contracts um, Up there and then you have some buys down here Lastly, last thing I'll explain, at some other point I'll get to what all these other columns are, but uh, for now let's just, uh, for the sake of not making the video a complete jigsaw tutorial, uh, the um, right here where it says 5S, that means there's a five contract stop market order at this price. I set this, so basically I'm saying if the price was to bounce back up here, you know, 
buy basically get me out of this trade and i would only get the profit at that level of course likewise i have a take profit down here it is because sometimes not as often in the bonds but you occasionally get those spikes like the price just spikes and then maybe flies back you know if somebody comes in and just buys all these up the price would spike so, so say somebody came in and said i'm gonna place a um a sell or sorry not buy i should say sell if somebody came in and said hey i'm gonna sell where 200 contracts at the market prices it would just go down the line and fill all of these so it would do 15 52 35 86 until it got to 200 so you would see the price just drop and it does happen guys so um i want to capture that if the price made a quick sudden move just you know let me grab this price again part of this is that one up has its consistency rule so i don't want to make like five thousand dollars in one day say this price and i have seen it before where the price just moves 15 ticks down well i don't want to get down to where you know i'm making you know three thousand dollars on this trade i was already up a little bit for today um and i don't want that consistency rule to be a problem so that's why i have a take profit here um it does not come into play in this trade um and last thing before i let this play i do manage this so as the price moves around and you will see the price kind of moves down here and then you're going to see it bounce back up and as it's moving around I'm actively managing these, uh, the stop and the take profit. And the reason for that is, uh, one, I'm judging where to put it based on the current price. Like when it moves down some, there gets to a point where I say, okay, I don't want to like make any less than X amount. Um, as well, I'm watching these limit orders and seeing where there's kind of some support and whatnot. So let's let this play and I will explain it as it's happening. I know this one happens fairly quickly. So um, I hit play here. Okay, so the price ticks down very, very, very quickly. I'm actually going to pause it right there. Um, so what you saw there was you saw the price went from, I think it was at 13, went down to 12, 11. And so you did see the spike. You're seeing a big, and you're seeing a big sell-off here. This is the 10-year note. Uh, but you saw a quick sell-off, and then it bounced back. Um, so it, exactly a case for this. If it had gone just a few more ticks, I would have actually gotten hit on this take profit. So let me keep playing this. I think at this point... So just a quick visual reference. Again, I have this pause right now. Um, so at this point, I'm looking at the screen. I'm saying, look, if I get out right now, it'd be a thousand in profit. If I do nothing and it bounces back up, I'm only going to make like 300 something, whatever this is on this trade. I don't want to only make 300 and something. So I move my stop a little bit closer and I believe I move it to seven to, well, the price of 12 and I would make 781. Um, I basically put a very tight kind of strangle on this where I say, okay, like if it moves a few ticks against me, I'm still gonna make $700 on this trade. If it does go down, hey, I'm gonna make whatever this is, probably 15 something, not too bad either. So let me just play this and see what happens. I do know that I move these in closer and it does end up hitting the stop. So here you go, here I am moving the stop. I clicked on it, I moved it down. I'm also tightening this up, I believe, let me see. And I'm gonna pause this for a second and explain why. So you see this uh, 102 contracts right here. The price is gonna have a tough time breaking through that 102. So I really, I kind of was like, okay, it's, it's unlikely it's gonna bounce down, break through the 102 and hit my price. I would rather just kind of join this level um, and go from there. So let me, continue to play i also you see right here i clicked on this i'm moving this down one tick here in a second there we go i'm just going to pause this again really quick so now i have a pretty you know kind of tighter strangle originally i was here and down here now i'm here i'm like okay i'm either getting 700 and something or i'm getting whatever this was 1400 um i'm getting one of those two that is still a very big range like just taking a step back and thinking about price but remember I mean, I would only set out to make, if I made $100 today, I was going to be happy. So, and I had already at this point, I think I was up about 100. So this is all kind of bonus funds here. So let me let this play. You're going to see here in a second, the price does go up. It hits this and I, the con, or sorry, the trade, uh, the trade exit. So it's going to get out here in a second. I'm getting ready. I'm contemplating given like what to do with this at this point. You know, there's not much wiggle room for me to really move anything. I didn't want to take any less than 700, so I didn't want to keep moving this away in hopes of getting more because I was really okay with with the 700. So let this play for a second more. It is going to end here in a second, guys. It looks like it's paused, but it's actually... Okay, guys, so this is Rhythmic. Sorry my last uh, kind of clip cut off early. I must have... Hit stop record right as it touched on uh, but you kind of see a flash where it hit my uh, stop loss so 
getting to rhythmic so closed profit and loss 875 for the day really happy with that uh less the commissions whatever they were um account balance just shy of 4500 in profit so 105 or sorry 104 500 uh some rounding up for the the dollar 25 there so um good shape uh we are exactly three quarters of the way there in terms of profit this is only day nine so we got 1500 left we've got six trading days left so on average if i was to average it out we need uh you know a little less than 300 uh, per day i think that's correct so yeah um, a little less than 300 per day and uh uh, basically 250 a day actually is what we need the um so tomorrow kind of the same game plan as today you know i'm going to trade if it ends up just being a small trading day the market's not doing much i'm totally fine with you know get a trade in call it a day um but if the market gives us you know 200 500 800 i'm happy to take it um and kind of same game plan i don't want any kind of wild out of control like i wouldn't want a three thousand dollar trade nor do i need a three thousand dollar trade at this point honestly a fifteen hundred dollar trade at this point would get us to the goal line and then we would still need to continue to trade um obviously but then i definitely once you kind of get past the goal then it definitely becomes a game of like okay i just need to to get a trade in just so each day counts so um that is the general plan so we'll see what tomorrow gives us uh be sure to watch right uh, top sub trader video from today as well if you're interested i actually make a pretty nice comeback from the big loss yesterday and then i'm also uh contemplating recording a video this evening just kind of going over um, a little bit of sort of pre-trading prep that i go through sometimes not all the time uh, it's basically a list i've made and i've kind of refined over the months of like things to kind of remind myself of before i uh jump in and start trading so just to give uh you know people ideas basically you know if uh Maybe some of the points that I touch on, you know, ring home for you, uh, and hopefully maybe will help. So that is it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one-up. Uh, that'll be day 10.